Well, that certainly does look about right. Let me uh, grab this other six volt bracket over here and we'll uh, oh, we'll just see what we think. My bolt holes all seem to be lining up here. This vent thing is in the way. I can put that down somewhere along the way. All that works and all that will fit on there. I don't know what this is or why it's here. This, uh, this is my oil pressure sending unit right here. And this big thing sticking up here is, I don't know if that's part of the block or if that's an added on. I think it looks like it. Oh, let's see. I don't think that's a separate piece. I think it's useless, but it's still there. Now on the uh, regular Volkswagen motor, I have a, uh, a fuel pump that sits right here. This one doesn't have a, a way to mount a mechanical fuel pump on it, so that's something else that will have to be overcome. Uh, okay. Well, that's a start. All right, I straightened that vent tube out so that I could get this all the way down on there and make sure it does fit. Uh, I think this just goes to, it's just vents out the bottom motor. This is probably the equivalent of a, uh, a vent tube on a uh, regular, any engine will have one, just a way to vent the block. Uh, so that fits. Uh, my regular intake manifold should fit on here. My distributor seems to be fairly much the same. Of course, I want to vacuum out these manifolds. When I took this manifold off, well, you, you might have noticed inside of that, uh, inside of that electronic uh, ignition, uh, electronic uh, fuel injection, it was nasty. Well, inside of here, you can see down in the porthole, that's pretty nasty too. So, I'll get me a vacuum cleaner. I'll vacuum out the portholes before I turn it over again. And uh, we'll do a compression check on it. Uh, could probably get it running uh, fairly easily and then put an oil pressure gauge on here and check the oil pressure. That'll tell me a lot about this motor before I shove it back in the car. So. I'm beginning to realize as I'm going along here that it, this may be one of them deals where it looks like a Chevrolet. It looks like it looks like something that came off a rat rod. I don't know how that got in there. This may be one of them deals where I wind up putting this motor in the new Volkswagen while I mess around with this motor, but we'll see.